I mean, the other day I was reading about feeling numb and this person was saying how numb they felt. Right. Well, what do you mean by that? Like, Well, that they were saying that they couldn't really feel anything. They were in a long, long-term relationship. Mm. They had a, quite a decent job they quite liked. Yeah. And yet they felt as if they were just going through the motions. And so I thought that would be a good topic to talk about in Get Real With The, the English, English Sisters, Sisters today. Yeah. The podcast that deals with anxiety relief and it'll help you feel something and um, feel good and feel, feel calmer. And feel emotions, really. Yeah, yeah. Get more in tune with uh, what's what you're, what you're experiencing. And it's available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. So get comfortable and listen to this week's episode today. Right, so let's go straight into this. I mean, we have had this very, you know, it's a common problem nowadays, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. People feeling numb. I think also the post-pandemic. Yes, yes. You know, that it's could, all, yeah. it, everything has... I don't think anything's ever independent of anything else, is it? No, it's all it's all intertwined and it's all linked and mm. there there is so much of it that is connected to other situations. However, I think in this particular case when we are discussing emotional numbness, mm. you know, it's more of um it's like not being able to experience most of the time when we are talking about emotional numbness it's more like you're not you can't actually experience good emotions mm. but you can still still experience the, the not so good ones unfortunately what like grief uh grief is a particular mm. it is very particular because you can also feel numb when yeah. you are grieving because it's like i think that's more like a trauma at times especially depending on what's happened but if it's like a, a traumatic experience you can suffer from, uh, you know, post, you know, traumatic post traumatic stress. stress. Yeah, after you know, after the the event has happened, and that can also make you feel numb. Mm. So there's a um, there's a variety of different situations that can cause this emotional numbness, as we know. You know, in particular, uh, the person you were referring to before. I don't really know enough about her history to to, to comment on. Well, that, she was but... just uh, she was, it was just on a on a thread on Reddit really okay. that I was reading. Oh right, okay. And she was saying that she was in a long term relationship. Right. For, yeah. She'd been in this relationship for ten years or so, eight to ten years. I can't remember exactly. Mm. And then she said she didn't she didn't even know if he was going to ask her to marry him. Mm. And she her job was okay. She said, but she just kind of went through the motions when she was there at work. And it was neither good or bad, she said. And, oh, okay. But she said, how can I stop feeling this numbness? And then, of course, people people on the thread that were writing that she was experiencing, it's, a, yeah. it's like a form of depression, isn't it? Yes, it is. So yeah. they were saying that. And then a lot of people were saying, well, I, I feel the same. Yeah. But I think that, what the me- you know, one of the ways of getting, apart from going to see your doctor or whatever, you know, the usual yeah, going therapist. down that route, the therapist, the doctor, apart from that, I think one way of how to stop feeling numb is to actually start taking control of your life. Because, for instance, in the in the fact that she was saying she didn't even know if this guy was going to ask her to marry him, you know, just take yeah. control and say, "Hey, you're going to take ask, the lead. Are you, you know? going to? Shall we get married?" But I I think this is a bit paradoxical because you, when you do feel numb, it is difficult to 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 be motivated enough to also to bother. Take, yeah, exactly. Because maybe you just really just want to, like, you're going through. I can, you know. I may have experienced this sometime myself in my life. It was niggling her because she was saying, it was at the back of her mind because she said, I don't even know if he's going to ask me to marry him. Yeah. You know, like as if she did want him to. Yeah, so it sounded like a concern, Mm. something that you, if you take action, then you'll feel better. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that is that is a good piece of advice. Because otherwise, she would have just said, "I'm just with this guy, and it's all it's just, okay. It's all it's running. All, it's all like you know, Groundhog auto Day, pilot. Or autopilot. Yeah. yeah, but the fact that she did, you could see it's that really there was sad a because there are a lot of people that do feel like that. This autopilot so many. thing. It's like the the greyness. It's like yeah. you know the grey suit syndrome. It's like just going in and trudging through and 
not really being able to experience your life uh, for what it is. You can't, it's like... You can't experience like paradise. Paradise? <laughs> what do you mean? The paradise, well, like, no, how, how beautiful like, life is? Well, yeah, like yesterday I was just in the garden and I was looking at the camellia tree and I know you might not have a garden, but you could be in the park. Anyway. Or you could be looking at a leaf yes. or a, even a picture Look. on the phone. Yeah. And I was thinking... Oh my goodness. Yeah. I mean this flower it is amazing. It was two tones. It had so fresh and juicy so and, like, and I was thinking this the world leaves. that we live in is like, it's beautiful. We live yeah. in paradise. We I do. mean it's a, it's a, it's a para a para it's it's just paradise. Yes. And I was yeah, just thinking it, that and I just filled I was just filled with this sense of of um of gratitude that I could actually experience this and so and do you think the, that people do take the time like to smell the roses I just and think look at people things don't or... know how to be mindful anymore I think mm. if you're mindful and you're in the moment you will be able to experience things yeah it does sound complicated to be mindful yeah. you know it sounds like it's a, a theoretic thing you know you say oh you have to be mindful oh my god I have to do that as well in my day like I'm so busy now I have to take time to be mindful yeah but... because the the, the 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 juxtaposition of that moment could be if I had someone saying yeah but the planet's not going to be here for very long yeah it's, the it's everything's yeah there's climate change there's everything it's all this narrative we've been yeah, fed yeah. but at that moment there Whether was no is... climate change at that moment, moment I was there and I looked at this flower and exactly. I I could see the beauty in this and appreciate it Mm. for what it was. And that was being mindful. That was being in the moment. That was without any other narrative, without any other concern. It was just there and then. I do agree. I really do think we have to block out these other stories that uh, are coming in from all parts and just you know get grounded. And if you say, how do you get grounded? You get grounded by... You know, actually looking at things, being able to experience them, like the camellia flower, you know, like being on a train and going to work and just, you know, raising your head a moment and looking outside at the passing trees and the clouds and things like that, you know. Or just feeling how comfortable the seat is beneath yeah, you or might. how uncomfortable it is. It, it, exactly, but noticing. But you're being in there. You're, you're noticing that your left foot might feel heavier than your right foot. Your That's right it. hand might feel, have warmer. more blood in it yeah, than warmer. your left hand. You know, different parts of your body experiencing how they feel, experiencing the sensations that you might have one toe that might be tingling the other might be you know these are all things that it it, it's very useful to do them daily Mm. and to just do them like an unconscious level when you you don't even realize you're doing them that's the best thing like now I'm sitting on this couch and I could experience the soft cushion behind me and I was thinking, I can, I, I mean, I wasn't thinking that consciously, <laughs> but I can experience it. Mm. And and so I'm aware of where my body is. So I think, yeah. And how comfortable it is. Or, yeah, uncomfortable. or uncomfortable, you know, it doesn't matter. But you it, might have a pain in one leg. Well, I hope not. <laughs> I do hope not. I'm saying that because I've got a bit you of a have, pinched nerve. You've got but a pinched actually, nerve. actually, yeah. being in the moment and being mindful is suddenly gone. So that's yeah. how your body because can help you Because your mind you is well. absorbed with other, th- other yeah. experiences. Yeah. And it, yeah, and it's not difficult to do. It really is. I mean, we all do it and we all do it naturally as well. It's not like you have to be some kind of Buddhist, uh, you know, that has does years of meditation to get to this point. It's about just maybe when you're at dinner tonight, just looking yeah. down and staring at your dinner plate or your the exactly. table and yeah. thinking, gosh, this table is, you know, it's filled with how, what, you know, what is even, I don't even know the science for it, but it's like all little bits together. Particles, isn't it? Particles. yeah, like the wooden table. Yeah. It could be wood, it could, it could be have, where crystal, did it, it could come be glass. From, what is it, a tree once? Yeah, looking. How many years has it served us? Like our dining table, we've had it for over 30 years you now. You have, yeah. And you yeah. just think all these dinners we've had on it, all these yeah. joyous occasions, yeah. the, the upsets as well. It's not always joy. 
Well, a lot it goes is. on in the kitchen. <laughs> in our kitchens most of the stuff happens in the kitchen i don't know whether it's because it's we the good from, and the bad isn't we live it? in italy it's now it's good and the bad times but how many meals from babies to grown-ups exactly, you know it's all yeah. these experiences uh, they're, they're moments really to be treasured yeah and even if you don't have that many experiences <laughs> yet i mean you can still be absorbed in uh, in in looking either at the food you might have in front of you like Violetta was saying, there may be some beautiful colours there. There may be something, the smell. It's 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 easy, really, to go into just being there right now. Even if it's an apple you're eating, you know, you can look at it and notice the different colours on the skin, the smell, the the texture, and then so on and so forth. Your clothes you're wearing, are they soft? are they what do they feel like against your skin there's there's millions of you know little moments that you can... it's just a moment to take you back into being in the moment yeah it's like when people say they love reading because they want to feel the book in their hands mm. and you know smell the paper mm. you know it's it's that same kind of thing i think or daydreaming when you were little yeah you little i'm not sure if the screen can actually enable us to do it as much you know by looking at our well i think it can if you're looking at something that's um particularly mindful, for mindful yeah there's yeah. so many mindful videos you can go, go and yeah, watch yeah that is true yeah oh, yeah who knows mm. i mean we have many on our youtube channel but if you're just scrolling through and just flicking going from one thing to the next not really not really no it is difficult it's to actually... quickly taking you on to the next thing and it could be a nice thing but it could also yeah. be an upsetting thing you never know where it's no, going to take no, you no yeah depending on what you've been depending watching on your feed yeah mm. so definitely yeah that is it's pretty easy to get back into you and not to say that it's not a problem you know it i'm not you know we're not trying to say that feeling numb is um is it's okay. not something yeah no this is if you do experience this kind of emotional numbness and you really then then we really our advice is you need to see someone and just talk about it with them with a professional but if it's just like feeling like a little bit like your life is in autopilot like what we were saying before and going around a bit like a zombie at times and then at times you are experiencing things and other times you feel like you're like switched off and and that's not nice you know so no. you want to get back into into your body and your mind and that's a really simple way of doing it you know just to get well, grounded to experience life to the full really yeah, because there are some people that even during exercise, they're not completely there. You know, mm. like they do the exercise and, you know, I was reading about it just now and they said even because exercise is one way to get you back into yeah, your body. Walking. Yeah, walking or, you know, moderate exercise, whatever it is. But they say that even then they, they don't completely feel as if they're feeling what they're doing they're just doing it oh i've got to do one hour because training they're always, 30 minutes. because they're not in the moment they're thinking in 30 Ahead. minutes is finishes i have to go and make dinner i have to go and write shower, that email shower, off, do that. yeah 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 they're not actually feeling the feet beneath their <laughs> the feet the feeling of the ground beneath <laughs> their feet yeah the, the way the treadmill the beneath feel, their feet yeah. how their feet are on the ground mm -mm -mm. yeah how their body is feeling does that you know does does one it's why people injure themselves as well because they're not actually listening they're not feeling their body they're not feeling they're pushing it, no. themselves through something that they shouldn't be doing because they're you know mm -hmm. just got this thing because they're just the saying plan. i just have to do this and this and get get, get 10 sets of this out yes, and they're exactly. not actually there thinking how does this feeling am i being able to push, push this correctly yeah, yeah, yeah. am i moving exactly. properly yeah all these things mm. <laughs> so definitely you know you can be mindful like even a lot of people are mindful when they're actually having a shower for example and that that is one moment that some people experience like a meditative moment or in baths. the shower people or like baths, baths yeah, yeah. <laughs> baths or shower but just to feel but next time you do notice the sensations that are going on notice how the water feels against your head how the, the, the smells of the shampoo and the, the, the soaps you're using be a little bit more mindful notice how your skin feels and 
you know just yeah like even when you're brushing your teeth notice well, how the toothbrush feels against your the teeth, teeth your gums how, what the toothpaste tastes like yeah, all these things are help things. you yeah, that feel and also back. and be appreciative for the toothpaste that you have or the thing yeah. where did that toothpaste come from you know how yeah. many people contributed to making it all these little stories that behind all these things that we can be grateful for and that help us experience life in a more positive way by actually acknowledging that, you know, how fortunate we are to have even these basic supplies, really. Yeah. To be able yeah. to brush our teeth or to be able to do these things. And we ha we do know and, that after the pandemic, you know, we have been, you know, more, more grateful. <laughs> even get the toothpaste. The toilet paper, it was a drama. <laughs> I mean, things like that, you know. I know. Uh, and it's just so, I mean, it is. But yes, it is so beautiful in the end if you if you if you see life in this way it really life like, the lessons that we've learned from our parents is that life is what you make it and how you how you how you react to it more than anything else mm. so you know if you are struggling get help go and see your doctor if you need to if yeah, you think just, you just need make to the call. yeah just get yeah, the first and then appointment just see what they say and then they you know they might suggest medication but if you if you don't feel like taking medication you don't have to there's other things you can do as well but it's the first it's the first way to the uh, first step to acknowledging that you know it's you you don't you, feeling like that is not really like living, living living properly yeah. is it no no yeah no i mean you're alive but you can be you know you, the life, world alive living. you know even to, to really be alive is you know it's to experience it's, yeah it's like when people say when they first fall in love and all of a sudden everything is heightened and the world looks beautiful and you know because but you can you can actually feel like that even if you're not feeling super in love, you you, yeah. do, you can feel like, wow, you know, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it is possible to experience that. And, and, and you can be, you don't have to be a three-year-old to think that, you know, you can be even like yeah, us. Because you if know, you look at children, you see how happy they are to experience yeah. any new things, a balloon, a bubble, it's all wow. Everything wow. is wow, yeah. Everything's the, so the, amazing, little the giggles stars, everywhere. The moon, the whole planet is fascinating for mm. them a little cat that comes along oh big deal <laughs> you know it's <laughs> but it can still be a big deal even for us gosh even this us morning adults. i was <laughs> yeah what happened i mean to you? i went onto the balcony of my house where we live in the country like in the mountains and a stampede i heard a stampeding so i thought maybe it's the horses there's horses sometimes coming to the field it was a Family. Well, I don't know. Family. There was. Yeah, it was definitely a there family. There was more just than a family. Yeah. There was a like stampede I would them. say a stampede of boars, wild just boars. wild boars running across the field with loads of little babies. They're actually quite dangerous, those wild boars. I mean, I wouldn't want to meet them if I was just walking thought, down the, God, the, in the thank country. Thank goodness I wasn't just walking down <laughs> down that field, <laughs> down the road. You wouldn't do it. I mean, I, do you remember that guest you had and you were I telling them, telling her, don't go don't for walks, go for walks, walks here walks. in the No, because it was in the afternoon, it was dusk. This That's is where they usually they, you come saw them in the morning. This was in the morning. Something must have frightened them. Yeah. For them and to there come was, running. but I thought this is like being in the savannah or something. What's the fact that here? you could hear the hooves the against hooves, the, the, ground. the ground. It was like the, the, the thudding. thudding yeah. the, 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 that was an experience. You've already transmitted that experience to me, and I can feel the emotion. Experience. It was like cloudy. There was almost a rainbow Dust. coming out. The, me. the the ground, the smells of the earth coming out. With all up. that stampeding. Stampeding. They were stampeding across. I mean, do they stampede balls? I <laughs> don't know. Shutting Stamp across. <laughs> they sounded like, you know that noise it makes? Because yeah, yeah, there's I so many the of them. They weren't actually, you know, making any... They weren't snorting no. or anything. <laughs> making their snorts. grunting. 
<laughs> that might be a bit scary. But I called my happy. I Did said, you put the dog see, inside quickly? No, no, Otto no. was outside barking. He's the oh. one that alerted me to oh, it. Oh, right. Because okay. he started barking. So I said, let me go and see what's out there. Yeah, our little pets can be very but, in the moment. Well, yeah, yeah because they make you go and check. Whereas I was just in the middle. I would just go, you know, rushing around, getting everything ready to go and come, come here come for here, podcasting. Yeah. So it was definitely an experience, but... I mean, just the fact that we share this world with all these animals and everything is just mind-boggling, really. Yeah, that's amazing. They're just off on their little rants, these boars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Going off to goodness knows what. Yeah, there, there's, there's, there's like, yeah. There's they... like these parallel worlds that, that oh, we definitely. don't realise. All these no, kingdoms within all... the one kingdom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all these kingdoms. Mm. Well, what do you think? We say... Take control, that's one way of doing it. Take control of your own mindfulness if you don't know how to do it. So just start staring at things throughout your day. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, what are and you staring at? <laughs> and, you know, where do they come from? Who made them? Mm, look at the just, shapes. Yeah, just feel the feelings. Feel, you feel the sensations. Mm. Well, what's it like? <laughs> Get back to... Also, stare at your partner for a bit and look at them. <laughs> <laughs> what are you staring if at? If you've got a partner. Whoever. If you have a, you love, a love family member, even a friend or even a stranger in the street and just start looking, you know, and seeing what's going on with that person. You'll just go, you'll come out of your own narrative and go into someone else's yeah, world. Yeah, a lot of the time when you start questioning without, you know, making an office or anything. Don't, yeah, don't, don't mean be rude. Don't be rude, yeah. <laughs> but just, just start looking, you know, you can, you can, you can, you, you get, you get so much, you know, you get so much. You get so much. Sometimes I find that even a bit overwhelming if I actually start really looking at everybody. Because I feel filled with <laughs> empathy and I think, oh God. But that's good because I can feel it, it's you know. Because you I feel it, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So if you feel like it, please do leave a review for us on um, Apple Podcasts or wherever wherever you leave your reviews. What or do you on have YouTube. to do to leave a review? I think sure actually i think you just have to go on the app and leave it right or sometimes the, they, the suggestions come up okay or otherwise you can just come back to us on insta or on yeah, uh, what uh, we i get real on insta i yeah. get real with the english sisters on instagram um, or on twitter or facebook youtube or LinkedIn and just or come YouTube, in and anywhere yeah tell us how you're feeling you know do you <laughs> experience you know <laughs> Feeling a bit I think nervous, ever since no. we learned hypnosis has been even more heightened, hasn't it? Our experience of the world. Well, yeah, because basically being in a trance is being in the moment. People think uh, when you're in a trance, they think you're like out of it. But really, you, you could never be more in it. So it makes you feel things. It makes you experience the moment then you might not hear the sounds around you and things like that. Other things, you, you, you're in a very focused state of attention. So it's a lovely place to be, really. Mm. It's the best place to hang out in. Well, it's a good place for your mind, yeah. Mm. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we do enjoy it. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank Lots you. of love and smiles from, from the... the English Sisters. Sisters. The number one podcast for anxiety relief with smiles. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye.